Hello, good evening, guys. Today I'm talking about gold mining. And gold mining is one of the most booming kind of uh, activities in the West. And uh, there are some uses of gold in electronic circuits and other things. In those cases, I do agree that the gold should be mined and used, but I think we are extracting more gold than we need for decorative and ornamental purposes. So I try to look a lot in these kind of things. People go into a huge uh, effort in order to collect this kind of gold. And uh, where there is gold, there is a lot of um, child labors as well. And you, um, in the West, this is a huge cult. I think it all started from the American uh, gold rust kind of thing. And they have a lot of um, TV programs and everything is based on this kind of uh, um, activities, so as to say. <clears throat> I think we have more gold than we need for next, um, I don't know, how much years. People are decorating the temples with gold, so, and to get this gold is not that easy, so we can think about a life of a person who is digging gold for his or her lifetime. So what is the significance is our life just to mine the gold and extract it and get the money is is that it that was the kind of question that i had and i know these people make a living out of it because there are rich people who would like to spend the money so for these people there is a reason to have these gold so as to feed them and their children's but in majority, if you look into these kind of luxury items, there's a gold, I don't know, celebrities use. And these are the people who are doing this kind of hard work. So I came across uh, a lot of things. If you look at uh, the YouTube as well, there's a lot of devastating effects of gold mining. Gold is one of the most... So you can think gold is not that easy like the human cost. How many people have to die to get this kind of gold? This is the question. How many lives we have to sacrifice? So still we are not stopping. So, and we use a lot of earth resources like water resources and everything so as to extract the gold so in this way as well we are contaminating in the nature and we are making it more and more uh, this kind of big fields and in south america there is a big gold kind of addiction or there are people who have to have this kind of gold so as to have a living but uh, the funny thing is like uh, in USA there there are like programs like gold rush and these people go to different places and then find gold and then they collect the gold these programs are all dedicated about collecting gold in a bigger scale and then they have to hit they have to find an investor and then find gold and if we think about a civilization, we are we are we have to think about protecting our civilization and going further, like how to um, make our civilization better by investing our time in more scientific research and all those kind of things. But maybe we have more manpower, so we can do this kind of things. But Still, I think we are not focused as we should be as a civilization so as to get most out of it. Because if we spend our resources in this kind of activities, I don't think 
this would be and then it's not only about gold everything about mining if you're using opal mining or diamond mining i don't know a lot of things so my question is is this useful if you look at the diamond mines so do we need this kind of diamonds we have created a brick creator like that can never be imagined how big is this and blood diamonds it's also called blood diamonds and i think ne negative global impacts of traditional gold mining so you can see this kind of problems so these are the outcomes that we have built ourselves by mining gold so one of the other topics that i would like to touch is like gold mining they use children's as well and there are some underwater mining methods and uh, if you look people are going under the water so as to mine the gold and these are like the ruler areas i don't think these people can mine a lot of gold but if you see this kind of documentaries and this guy is going inside this water i don't know how much gold he makes per day and children risking their lives under the water for the gold mines so this is pretty dangerous and which touched me in some ways as well and there are a lot of other stories which where people uh, take uh, deep sea gold rush and a lot of other stories where people go to a great extent so as to mine these kind of gold so by mining these kind of gold we are using a lot of resources which could be used on some useful purpose I don't think as a humanity or as a civilization we need so much of gold or diamonds so as to thrive we need to think about more better ways and uh, this direction would definitely not take us to a better humanity or a civilization in long term because we are using our resources on on money or gold or i don't know this 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 would not sustain properly and child labor was one of the things and in many of the instances if these children don't work as a gold miners they don't have food to eat or is also a big problem so this will not teach this kind of children anything and we're not getting anything so i think as a civilization we should more we should be more focused on other things rather than gold mining uh, or anything diamond mines or maybe if we need it so as to excel the civilization then we need to do it but uh, it is not really a good idea just to invest a lot of energy and effort but i know my saying would not be so loud but um by watching so many programs and like the westerners are like uh uh really uh, insanely like uh, fascinated by the fact of gold mining and finding a lot of gold or silver or opal or diamonds or gems I don't know how this would work but still in the long term and if we think about our civilization itself i think we should uh, think about more scientific things how to unravel the mysteries of the universe or mysteries of dna or to uh, or to go to mars and then start a new civilization so i think uh, my small video blog was pretty interesting for you guys so till next time bye bye